hands. Look at that. Thou hast blessed the works of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. Now look up. Now, what is gateway to increase in substance? The blessing of God coming upon the works of your hands. Now let's listen to it again. What is the gateway to your increase in substance? It is when the blessing of God comes upon the works of your hands. When there's a blessing of God upon the works of your hands, your substance, own to I increase, it will increase. But when there is, when what you are doing, your work is not prospering, that is not how your substance will increase. You will only desire things, but you will not be able to possess them. Because you, your, the works of your hands is not prosperous. Now let's read on. What verse are we? Verse, we're in verse 11 now. Now, but put forth thy hand now, and touch all that he hath, and he will cause thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, follow this with him, behold, all that he hath is in thy power. Only upon himself put not, thy, put not forth thy hand. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. Now look at verse 13. And there was a day when his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in their elder brother's house. I thought that the devil would start his attack from Job's family. Because the way verse uh, 13 said it, after the encounter, you know, after that discussion with the devil, you know, thinking that verse 13, Job would just, uh, the devil would just go and attack Job. No, the devil didn't attack Job's family first. Let's read verse 14. The devil attacked Job's business first. Let's read. And there came a messenger unto Job and said, the oxen were plowing and the asses feeding beside them. And the Sibians fell upon them and took them away. Yea, they have slain the, thy servants with the edge of the sword and I only am escaped also to tell thee. Can you see that the first attack of the devil came on the business of Job? Not even in his family life. Now, the devil knows the effect of a crashed business in a person's life. He knows that when a person's business crashes, he knows that that person will live, he will live as a normal person, but this time around, he will live as just as an ordinary vegetable. Because he will not be able to afford the things he desires. That's why, if the devil wants to attack a person, the first place of his target is not his family. The first thing he wants to do is to attack the person's business so as to make the person's life miserable. Do you know that it came to a, a, a time in the life of Job that even the wife of Job was telling Job, you better curse God and die. So the first thing the devil did, look at that verse 14, and he, came to, he attacked his poultry business. Now look at verse, verse 16. While he yet spake, while he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, the fire of God is falling from heaven and had burned up the sheep and the, and the servant and consumed them. And I only. The oxen were destroyed. Look at the sheep to have been destroyed. While he yet speaks again, there came another and said, the children made three bands and fell upon the camels. You see that the devil kept attacking the business of Job. That's why I'm praying for you. Every plan of the wicked to attack your business shall consistently fail. I say every plan of the devil to attack your business will continue to fail. I wrote here, beloved, did you see that, the de de that before the devil attacked Job's family or health, it was Job's business, Job's job, Job's profession he attacked first. Why? He knows that your business, hear me, your job, your profession is the platform that the blessing of God upon your life will find the expression when it comes to prosperity. Now listen, when we are saying, you are blessed, God bless you, you are blessed. You know, that blessing you have, if you are not doing anything, the blessing will not show. Your business is a platform by which the blessing will find what we call financial expression. Do you understand what I'm saying? Your business is the platform. Your 
ni ire ibukun olorun lori aye e lo ma gba di owo fun e but if you are not doing anything the blessing will be upon your life but the blessing will not be able to express that's why the devil wants to attack your business i say again every plan of the enemy to attack your business will continue to fail i wrote here he knows that your business your profession is the platform that the blessing of God upon your life we use to find the expression. I wrote here, when it comes to financial prosperity, the blessing cannot find the expression if you don't have work. Now, I will show you three, three scriptures. Look at uh, the, the life of Jacob in, Job, uh, sorry, in Genesis chapter 30, verse 27. The blessing of God that was upon Jacob's life, if you can have it and put it on screen for me, let's see. Do you know that it was when Jacob was working in the house of Liban, he was working that the blessing of God upon his life now started to manifest. How was he manifesting? He was manifesting in the business of Potiphar, I mean of Liban. In the business of Liban, the blessing was speaking because that was where Jacob was working. So every child of God should understand that the devil wants to attack your business. The devil wants to attack the company where you are working. If I ask you, you will be able to share. How did you feel that time you work in one school? You work for one month, and at the end of the month, they didn't pay yourself. How did you feel? You feel bad. Because you must have made calculations. It's your legitimate fee. It's not something you begged for. You worked for it. You will have taken your paper and paper biro. You will have written one or two things. I'll buy this. I'll buy that. I'll... But at the end of the month, the money didn't come forth. It's the devil that wants to frustrate you. So look at the life of Jacob. The moment he found a job in the house of Potiphar. Can we see it in Genesis chapter 30 and uh, verse 27? Please, we can have it on screen. I'll be glad. Thank you. And Liban said to him, please stay with me. Stay. If I have found favor in your eyes, for I have learned, by what? By experience, that the Lord has blessed me for your sake. Anybody that have this kind of Jacob in his company, we don't want Jacob to go. That's why one of the prayer points I wrote here, may God raise for you, especially if you're a company owner, subordinates like Jacob, staffs like Jacob, in the name of Jesus. He said, I learned by experience. That my things began to prosper from you came, from when you came. So your work is is uh, like the the ATM machine that God placed in front of you for you to have access to financial prosperity. See, I hear the same thing in the life of Isaac. The same thing in the life of I, uh, in the life of Isaac in Genesis 26, 12 to verse 14. He was blessed. But the blessing didn't speak until Jacob began to plant in the land. The Bible says, and he sowed in the land. Let's look at it too. Genesis 26, from verse 12 to verse 14. Then Isaac did what? Sowed in that land and reaped in the same year, what? A hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. Now look at the effect of the blessing from verse 13. The man began to prosper and continue prospering until he became very prosperous. Verse 14, why? The blessing found expression through the works of his hands. For he had possession of flocks, can you see? And possession of heads, and great number of servants. So the Philistines envied him. God's blessing will speak in your life to the point that sinners will envy you. Now the same thing happened in the life of Joseph. We see that one in Genesis 39 verse 5. Joseph was blessed, but the blessing didn't speak. Until he got a job in Potiphar's house. Genesis 39 verse 5. So it was. From the time that he had made him overseer of his house. Look at it. And all that he had. That the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house. For Joseph's sake. And the blessing of the Lord was on all that he had. In the house and in the field. Can you see? The blessing is upon you. But for blessing to find the expression. You know what? He will, find, he will pass through your work to reach you. That's why the devil is attacking your work. That's why the devil doesn't want your work to prosper. 
but it will fail. No matter what the economy of our nation is, you will, your work will prosper. Say my work will prosper. I didn't hear you. Now, I wrote this down. No matter how blessed you are spiritually, the blessing will not, will not express itself financially in your life, physically, if you do not work. Let me come again. No matter how blessed you are spiritually, the blessing will not express itself financially in your life physically if you do not work. Now, which means no matter the number of blessings that is upon you, if you don't have work, that blessing will not manifest financially in the physical. Haven't you seen people that say, sir, I got a dream that I'm on top and they are still on the floor. Work. I'm showing you why the devil is after your work. That's why you have to keep praying. As a child of God, don't joke when it comes with prayer concerning the works of your hands. You keep praying. You keep trusting God. That's your work with prosper. I will show you some things as we are going on in this meeting. So don't forget this one I said of recent. I'm quoting it to you again. No matter how blessed you are spiritually, the blessing will not express itself financially in your life, physically, if you do not work. The blessing will not find expression. It wants to, but it won't if you don't work. Now let's now go deeper. How does God want us to work? How does he want us to undo our work? How does he want us to handle work? You know we're in the prayer meeting. I'm just teaching to prepare your mind before we begin to pray. How? I'll show you three scriptures. Number one in Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10. We are instructed to put our best effort. Look at this. He said whatsoever your hand finds to do. How should you do it? I didn't hear you. Do it with your might. Whatsoever your hand find it to do. He says, put all your might at it. If you are working, you under your work, uh, 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 you know, as if it's not something important, God is not happy. God wants you to put your might to work. He wants you to put your might to work. You know, in one of our Friday fellowships uh, at the Eleven School, I was sharing with our teachers and some of the students that waited, you know, as we were about breaking our fast. I told them, I said, see, diligent hands, God promised that they would be on top. And one of the students were asking, what does it mean to be diligent? I mean, I say it is to put your best strength into what you are doing. You don't undo work as if, well, they forced me to do it. No. He said, whatsoever your hand find it to do. Let's look at a more simplified version. People, this it's like you are tired today. The cord, okay. Let's look at, yes. This is the message Bible. He said, whatsoever turns up. <laughs> this one says, grab it and do it. And heartily. This is your last and only chance at it. For there is neither work to do, nor thoughts to think, where? In the company of the dead. Where do we have work? We have work on here on earth. He says, so any work you are privileged to have access to do, how should you do it? You do it with the whole of your might. You put your whole strength to it. Please don't joke with work. That's why every student that is here, study as if you don't study, you will die. See, I hear. So how does God want us to work? He wants us to work with all our might. I, I encountered the second scripture yesterday when I was studying. Colossians chapter 4, verse 17. We will read the King James, and I also show you from the message. I read the two versions yesterday. I love the, the, the message. But let's look at King James first. He said, and, and say to Archippus, Take heed to the ministry which you have received in the Lord 
that you may fulfill it. Wait for me here. Paul was writing, summarizing his letter to the Colossian church. He said, make sure you find a young brother, Archippus. Archippus is like brother, brother Gabriel of now. Now go and tell brother Gabriel, Archippus Gabriel, go and tell him to take heed to that calling that he has. Take heed. You know, I now went to the Message Bible. Look at the Message Bible. I love the Message Bible, the way it translated it. Message Bible, please. Colossians 4, 7. It says, and oh yes, look at this. Fell Archippus, do your best in the job you received from where? From the master. Do your very best. Now, can you beat your hand on your chest and say that in the work that you are doing, you are putting in your best? Because if you are not putting in your best, you are not doing what the master has said. And if you are not doing what the master has said, you cannot get a reward from the master. Unless you require, some people have mega results, some people have small results. Put your best to it. When I saw it, I, I screamed, wow. And oh yes, tell Archibos. Everyone that is here, I want to, can, I want to assume that everybody is an Archibos. Put your best to work. You know, I, was, I came here on Saturday. We were doing some, something uh, uh, on Saturday. I went to dedicate a complex for one of our members that was laying foundation to build a complex. And as I was coming, they called me again that one of our members lose their, uh, her elder brother. So, you know, I, was, I went to do a joyful assignment somewhere. And as I was finishing, coming out, we danced together. We laid the foundation of the complex. I received another call. Hello, Papa. Ah, me mama she so fan ti mi o mo ti so pe mo wo ba se ma se ibule wasa e ma bo ke le ba mi tu fo fun won so i had to pull off the joyful mood to put on the mourner's mood now by the time i will get to their house they have, somebody have told her so she started screaming ah, my papa so I had to console her. By the time I finished consoling her, I came to church. It was a Saturday, this Saturday, to arrange for some things. So I now met one young man, well dressed in a jean, jean and jean trouser and a nice t shirt. And he said, Sir, he brought out a drug. You know? He said, Sir, please, I have not eaten. They gave me this drug in the hospital. Please, sir, can you get, buy me lunch? I said, you know what is happening in our country now. There's no cash anywhere. They're trying to make us transfer. So if you buy pure water too, you transfer. I said, but we are the owner of that shop there. I can afford to give you a gallon drink to, to take your drug. You know, I thought he was the one, the owner of the power bike, where he was. He stood in front of the power bike as if this is my power bike. So when I said, I'm sorry, I, could, I can only give you a gallon drink Take that one, that place belongs to us. And now, he said, no, I don't want that. He said, can't you buy a mala for me? <laughs> I look at him, I didn't say anything. I said, I'm sorry, I can only afford gala and drink. He just walked out on me and started going. That was when it was done on me that I shouldn't call him the power bike. He now went to stay in the corner. As I was now coming, he now said, Pastor, can't you give me 500 naira? I said, can't you work? Are you crippled? He looked at me. I said, are you crippled? How will I just look at you and just throw 500 naira at you? You are not crippled, my friend. If you want job, follow me. Come and go and sweep the church. Then you get something. He just disappeared. I discovered that one of the reasons why a lot of people are poor is because they don't want to work. And look at what God is saying to Archippus. And oh yes, tell Archippus. Do your best in the job you received from the master. Now, if God is saying this to us in ministry, what should God say to you that are in the secular? The principle is the same. Because a lot of people used to think that if you're a pastor, pastors are lazy. No, look at the scripture now. You have received from the master. Do your, be your very best. In fact, when I studied this in the office, 
two days ago, I wrote a jotter, a j- I j- jotted a small note for my ministers at the leadership meeting in March, first Sunday in March. I will ask every one of them, can you beat your hand on your chest and ask yourself and answer yourself that you have given your best to the calling that you have? Praise the Lord. Answer me now. I say praise the Lord. So, how does God want us to walk? We are still answering the question. We have seen two scriptures. Let's look at the third one. Proverbs 22, 29. How does God want us to walk? Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 29. How does God want us to walk? Thank you. Proverbs 22, 29. Observe people who are good at their work. (laughs) But let's go to King James first. King James says, do you see a man who does what? Who excels in his work. Now, show me old King James. There's one word that this version have omitted. Old King James. Thank you. It says, Not Depa. We know we can't rely on them already. So see at the man. Okay? Let's go on. Diligent in his business. Which means that there's a promise of God over the diligent. Can you see? See at the man, diligent in his business. He shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before what? Mean men, ordinary men. That's the kind of man I want to be. Who do you want to be? Is that the kind of person you two want to be? Gates way to standing before kings is you being what? Diligent. I was sharing from, I think I shared a little bit of this in the morning prayer this morning. Many years ago when our ministry started, I live at the, at the top of the building. The church is at the base. I was my own boss. The senior pastor. Ma, Sars, 4 a.m. I've woken up. I'll finish my morning devotion by 6. March straight to the bedroom, take my bath, and resume at the office by 7 a.m. That was my lifestyle. That's why it is easy for me and my wife today to still wake up early, we live very far, prepare, and still get to our various place of work. Diligence. What does it mean to be diligent? It means to be hardworking. So the three scriptures are the same. How does God want us to work? God wants us to put our effort. Never forget that the financial prosperity you pray for will be expressed through the works of your hands. Let me come again. Never forget that the financial prosperity you pray for will be expressed through your work, the financial prosperity you pray for will be expressed through your work. You know, the answer to those prayers will pass through your work. That's why you must take your work very serious. Hallelujah. How does God want us to handle our work? Second answer. Number two. He wants us to 
handle our work prayerfully. Let me show you why. Matthew chapter 8, from verse 28 to verse 34. Matthew chapter 8, from verse 28 to verse 34. He wants us to handle our work prayerfully. He wants us to be prayerful about our work. Pray about it. Now look at this. The Bible says, and when he was come to the other side, into the country of Gethsemane, they had met him, two possessed with devils, coming out of the tombs, exceeding fury, so that no man might pass by that way. These men were very, very, very possessed. And behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Jesus, thou son of David? Have thou come either to torment us before the time? And there was a way. There was a good way off. Sorry, there was a good way off from them and head of many swine feeding. Now, it's swine feeding is a, a piggy farm. A lady of poor. Somebody owns it. So the demons begged him, saying, If you cast us out, permit us to go away into the head of swamp. Can you see? That's somebody's business. The devils were saying, Jesus, Jesus, Toba Malewa. You know, I told you when I was teaching about uh, 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 temptation that the devil can seek for permission to attack. But because God knows your capacity, but so many Christians feel God. Okay, go and try. Now, it's just like now, as I am now. Let uh, Tochuku say, Daddy, Daddy, say yes. Daddy, say yes. Can you give me permission to go and meet Pastor Prince on the way? I know where he's living. I'll go and meet him on the way, and I'll give him a, a, a terrible beating. If Evan should say, Tochuku, I allow you, he want to put you in trouble. <laughs> Abby, let him say, okay. Tooks, I trust you. Go, go and meet him at Elebuja. <laughs> now let him now come and say, I have permission of ever to face you, sir. I will beat you. I will tie you. <laughs> Put you on Kekena Fair. Pay for transport for them to take you back home. Are you getting what I'm saying? Here, this speaks sought for permission. Do you know that demonic for I mean this demon sought for permission? Demonic forces can seek for permission to attack businesses. Unushikodoma pray. There was a time, look up, look up, look up. There was a time the devil attacked our church. This this church. No, we dare to. He attacked our church with rebellion. I noticed that time our members just changed. They no longer contribute to our ministry. They were no longer supportive. Everybody was just doing what they like. And our members were just behaving like, if you rebuke me, I will leave. If you rebuke me, I will leave. I saw it. And we started praying. Every demonic spirit that entered the church. We started casting it out of the people. Some of you didn't know the reason why during our prayer and fasting, I went to bring several servants of God to come in. After our fasting, I noticed that a, a spirit from God of unity entered this church. That's why you see that as big as we are, let me not say small as we are, we are able to achieve great things since then. Or have you not noticed? So this spirit sought for permission. Let's see whether Jesus granted them. Thank you. And he said to them, oh yeah, go. Just like Evan can say to Tochuku, go. Go. And when they, they, they had come out, they went into the head of swine, swine, and suddenly the whole head of swine ran violently down the steep place into the sea and did what? And perished in the water. Can you imagine? 
for somebody's pigs that formed a piggly farm to just went uh, to just go like that and drown. You know, I remember like that during Christmas. I had chickens to sell. Now, the live chicken was sold was 9,000 at times 10, 11, 8, 5. But when we had mortality, we had one or two that died. I now say, okay, somebody called me. At, we had to sell a chicken. Pastor, pastor, please, if your chicken die, we have people that buy it. I was glad. That, oh, thank God, it will not be lose lose. When I took the one that died there, very big, they called me back. The man said, 4,000, not out. A ah, chicken of 9,000 was bought for 4,000. And funny enough, I've not even collected the 4,000 to date. So, can you imagine the kind of shortage this man we have? Hey, Joe, I let I went let here. He said, One 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 but the man who doesn't have choice, chauffeur could want that only. But it would be business, eh, man. I won't watch it for Jesus. Thinking that it was Jesus' fault. In the next verse, let's read the next verse. And when he had said to them, go ahead, they, they, they perished. And when he said to them, uh, we have read this now, uh, three. then those who kept them fled. And they went away into the city and told everything, including what had happened to the demon possessed men. Verse 34. They, they chased Jesus. Out of their town. And behold, the whole city came out to meet Jesus. And when they saw him, they begged him to depart from. Eh, sir, be going. Was it his fault? It's not his fault. That's why I say you must be prayerful over your business. At times, the devil wants to attack your business. And I've told you, anytime the devil comes to attack your business like that, he wants to make you suffer. So that you will not be able to afford. To take care of yourself from your business anymore. Say after me, every attack, I didn't hear you on my business begin to fail in the name of Jesus. Do you know that when your business prospers, there are so many good things you can do? Are you here? When your business is prospering, you can buy land from it. When your business is prospering, you can buy a car from it. There was a school like that many years ago. That was the first school in Ibadan that gave all their teachers car loan. One private school. I won't mention the name. The online. It called, the school was prospering and he called all our teachers and gave them car loan. Private school. And all the teachers bought cars. Why? Because the school was prospering. Though most of them, they collected it back later. Because they could not pay. You know, car, loan is like free. It's, you, are, you, are, you buy it, you'll be enjoying it, yeah, but you'll be paying later. It takes a lot of discipline to live that kind of life. So when your business prospers, so this morning, this evening, sorry, I want us to pray. We're going to take about five or six, six prayer points. And all these prayer points will be about your work. Do you hear me? Are you going to pray? Let's pray about our work. Let's pray about our work so that God will prosper us in the works of our ends. Our first point of prayer, you say I command. Every, every battle stirred up against my work to begin to fail. Now wait before you pray. This battle could be any kind. It could be battle of uh, strange children going to spread rumors. You know there was a time they wanted to affect one woman's business. Somebody just came up. Ah, this woman. Yes, people used to eat here. We saw snake in our pot. It's a lie. And you say, ah, ah, ah. Ejola, ejola. You know, people started spreading. Just like, you know, people spread evil reports more than good news. Was it not two weeks ago like that? People started spreading reports. Ah, he uh, wrote this bunny. Okay, I do is burning. They have burnt the whole challenge. 
I mean, I just remember that I have a daughter in school. So I called her too. She too have not gotten to the school gate. Too. She said, ah, daddy, they said everywhere I scatter. Everywhere is burning. They said even our school gate is, they have, they have scattered everywhere. So I carried my card. Eh? I don't have a firstborn in another place. Let me go and look for how to bring her. My wife too was saying, honey, don't go. What do you want to do? Hey, how do you do it? Ah. I said, yeah, if I could go and pick my sister 12 midnight, I left Ibadan to Lagos Express, go back around 3 a.m. What will I not do to bring my own child? Do you know that? Ah, and we went. What did we see? We got to challenge. People were doing their business. Everything was extremely peaceful. Ah. We got to our school gate. Everywhere was peaceful. Everybody was going about their videos business. I now called her. You are a journalist in the making. From where did you get your report? He says, I they send it to me. You don't post unverified reports. That come out of your gate. Everything is extremely peaceful. You know, there are people like that too that can spread rumors against your business. Am I Lobel? Am I Lobel? But God will defend you. I didn't hear you. I said, God will defend you. Remember that time when our school was still coming up at Liberty Road? That somebody was just peeping from the window. We now called him in. What happened? He said, they said that school is expensive. That it is not for people like them to come there. He said, we, so he's now looking at the flower we use for decoration. That that flower is very expensive. Ah. By the time we now told him the, price, the school fee, the person said, it's something we can afford. Why? Some people have spread evil reports. Say after me, I command. Every battle steered against my work. Fail in the name of Jesus. Shall we begin to pray? Jump up in your feet and begin to pray. Begin to pray for yourself in the name of Jesus. And if you go to the BDC, share me. No, you call Jesus. Or you come and badge. Begin to pray. Begin to destroy. Be destroyed. Every battle steered up against my work. You are destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Are you praying? Regada babas, lege de bosene, shagada baskandera. Every battle steered up against my work. You are destroyed by fire. You are destroyed by fire. You are destroyed by fire. Regada basene, legada basa. Pray for yourself. Don't joke with us, prayer. Whoever is stirring that battle, Father, disgrace them. Whoever is stirring that battle against my business, against my work. Against my calling, Father, disgrace them by fire in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray for yourself. Lagada basata, lenguri araba, shagada baskenile, regada basanaira. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed and amen. Now, address the devil directly. Say after me, say, Devil, hear now the voice of the Lord. I didn't hear you. You will not be able to enter my business. In the name of Jesus. See after the devil here now. The voice of the Lord. You will not be able to enter my work. You will not be able to enter my ministry. You will not be able to enter my business. Shall we begin to pray? Begin to pray. Begin to give him that command right now. In the name of Jesus. You will not be able to enter into my work. Begin to pray. Ya gada baras. Shagada Basene Basata. I rebuke you, Satan. You will not be able to enter my work in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray for yourself. Ragada ba ringuliara ba se shagada ba skandaira ragada ba sata yagada ba legada ba se. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed and amen. Take number three. Say, I receive now divine wisdom. I didn't hear you. I receive now divine wisdom. To move my work to the next level of glory and greatness. Now look up. There's a wisdom that will move your business to a higher level. You need it. You are going to pray for that wisdom now. Are you said? Say I receive. Divine wisdom now. To move my work. To the next level of glory and greatness in Jesus' name. Shall we begin to pray? Let's begin to pray. We don't have all the time. Begin to pray. I receive that divine wisdom now. I receive that divine wisdom now. To move my work. 
to the next level of glory. Next level of honor in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray for yourself. Begin to ask for that divine wisdom now. 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 Thank you, Father. Be exalted, O God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. And amen. Say after me. Say, I call for subordinates, supporters like Joseph to team up with me in the name of Jesus. I receive men like Joseph. Open your mouth and begin to receive now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I call for subordinates in the work of the ministry. Lord, men like Joseph. Lord, I will team up with me for the prosperity of my work. Lord, I receive them as staffs. I receive them as partners in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Lord, I receive them wherever they are. Men like Joseph. Men like Joseph. Men like Joseph that will team up with me for the prosperity of my work. Lord, I receive them. Lord God, I receive them. My Father, I receive them. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed and amen. Now, take this one. This one is very important. See, uphold me, O oh God, that I will not commit the mistake. I will not make the mistake that will make my business to tear apart. Look up. One mistake is enough. I'm not here. I want you to okay? I want to show you. Small mistake. Business said they collapse. Say after me, uphold me, oh God. That I will not commit the mistake that will tear my business apart. Shall we begin to pray in the name of Jesus? My Father, my God, please uphold me. Help me, oh God, that I will not make the mistake that will tear my ministry apart in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray for yourself. Begin to pray for yourself. Begin to pray for yourself. Lord, I will not commit blunder. Lord, I will not commit error. I will not make the mistake that will tear, Lord, my ministry, my calling apart in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed and amen. Last prayer for tonight. Say, I call for fresh divine ideas for progress in business. Now, listen. You know what we call divine, fresh divine ideas? Kilo yeko fi kun ishe to ishe. To my yeko unique. Sir, do you know that you can become a unique staff in your company? That people will be asking of you. Asking for you. Now, to the glory of God, to the glory of God, to the glory of God. I'm saying it again, to the glory of God. There is no place I go to minister. They want to listen to me again. There's a divine idea that is making it so. You are going to pray for it. I call for fresh divine ideas. For progress in business. In the name of Jesus. Shall we begin to pray? Begin to pray for yourself. Fresh divine ideas. For progress in business. Ask for it now. In the name of Jesus. Fresh divine ideas. Fresh divine ideas. Lord, for progress in business. In the name of Jesus. Lord, fresh divine ideas. 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 For progress. For progress. In business, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Fresh idea. Fresh divine idea. What I need to do next, show me. That will make me progress more. Show me, Lord. Are you talking to the Lord? Show me, Lord, what I need to do next. That will make me to progress more than this. That will take me to the next level when it comes to greatness. In this work of ministry, Father, reveal it to me. Lord, reveal it to me. Begin to ask that the Lord reveal it to you. Fresh divine ideas. Begin to pray. Fresh divine ideas. Begin to pray. Fresh divine ideas. Begin to pray. Fresh divine ideas. 
Shagada barabaskine. Fresh divine ideas. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. And amen. Now look up. We have prayed over our business. As we do every Wednesday. Jesus, our Lord said, do this always in remembrance of me.